Hello there, friends, and welcome back to Fjordland. Oh, isn't Fjordland looking great? It's episode number 28. I don't know if rhyming <laughs> intros is a thing I want to do for this save or not. Who knows? But welcome back. Welcome back to another weekend, another session of our little, little Soviet Republic. I hope you're all well. Hope you have had a nice week and that, yeah, everything's, everything's going all right for you all out there. As always, if this is your 28th video or the first time you've ever watched, I really do appreciate you stopping by to, to watch <laughs> what is about to happen. Um, if you do like what we do, please um, consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel. If not, and you're just wanting to drop by and see what it's all about, well, I hope you enjoy what you're about to see because... My friends, we have done quite a lot. Quite a lot has happened uh, since I last spoke to you in the in episode number 27. Um, we had a lot of construction, and we still do have a lot of construction, to be fair, um, on the go. But if I come out of cinematic mode, you'll see when we last left, we were in April, and now we're in May. A whole month has passed by without you seeing, um, and some... Crucial things have happened. A lot of stuff has been built, and a lot of stuff is getting built faster, and this is all good stuff. So, let me start by taking you down to the city of Jarnagrad. Now, you'll remember, lots of construction. Aliki Junction has been built, the the um, universities have been built, this iron works are all been built, we've got construction stuff being built down here, in the, in the oil refinery area, the whole national highways getting built we have loads of stuff happening up here a bridge um we were building uh, an, um, a train yard to deliver construction stuff down the down the railway here and um, we even started in the last episode building a um a, a little area to import cattle and to create our own meat um an area which i I'm dubbing Slaughterville, which is very sad. A lot of stuff needed to get built, and, and and I didn't want another episode where we were sat and sat and just nothing happening. So, several things happened. I I, I stopped construction people from, from doing their jobs and, and made them build very, very quickly. This, and another construction office up here in... Chernikova. These, as you can see from the name, I will tell you, these are the Fjordland Construction Firm's Recruitment Division. Recruitment Division, their, their sole purpose, and you, 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 there's no vehicles here because they're all out doing, serving their sole purpose. Their sole purpose being to transport workers around. They are, they are just buses. That's all they have. They're just taking people around. As a result of this, uh, we have actually, uh, l I mean, it's a temporary fix to a situation, but if you remember last time, we were having, like, there was, like, 300 people here that were unemployed. You can see the effect that it's actually had on this area. The buses are picking people up from here and here, and down in Jarnagrad, it picks people up from this bus stop here. Uh, this one, we need to probably think more about what this one's doing. Um, because as I look at Jarnagrad and I realise that we have a lot... This building... These people here don't seem to be getting to this bus stop. We're probably going to need to build some form of bus platform here and use these workers to go up to the iron mines. I don't know. It's... <sighs> Jarnagrad needs to expand. We need to build more housing along here. But that's all in good time. But as a result of that, you can see um, the university is nearly done. Lenin is done. I don't know if Lenin got done in the last episode. University is nearly done. Um, we've also... I've put in for a little, <laughs> little, little star here at Aliki Junction. Um, the, uh, heat, the electric heating place has been built, although we need workers to come for that. Are they coming to work? Oh, here they are. Look, here they are coming to work. Um, the other construction firm down here 
has been built. We're waiting on, on our open storage to get built and for the platform to get built. Uh, once that is done and once... Follow me up here, please. And once this distribution center is built, hopefully that will be built soon, what we will do using this distribution center here, we will collect steel and boards and bricks and prefab panels and we will put them here and we'll put them on a train and we'll send them down. It's going to be great. It's really going to be great. It led me to think about how... What about things like gravel and concrete? Which, you know, it would be great to have all that stuff down here. Which would be good. But even if we just have steel and bricks and prefab panels and, and boards and stuff down here and and the um, the construction firm down here at Aliki Junction just f has those things, we can st we're, we're, we're never going to ask that place to work on its own so it's going to combine its efforts with other construction agencies so it gives them half a job if that makes any sense what else have i done while i've been away oh here we we've started to tarmac this entire road which is great we're gonna eventually my thought was when we first started if you remember way way back in like episode one this was going to be a big highway we were going to have a, the, the national highway wasn't just going to start here at this roundabout. It was going to go all the way through to the border. That never came to fruition. But the last remnants of that planning is now getting tarmacked. I figure the border is is the border exports is really quick after we put that mod in place that that speeds up imports and, and exports. But I think it would just be nice to have an inwards and an outwards road would be pretty cool. Um, I then got a thinking. Small, I started to build a small distribution center here with the sole purpose of importing um, importing mechanical components. We're not building them yet and we're auto purchasing them here and I know that the, the difference in cost from, from this warehouse to the border is not going to be much but it'll save us a little bit and we can have trucks delivering them and then we could even have it's a small, small one, a small distribution centre. We could even have a lorry that goes all the way down and delivers stuff down there. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Slaughterville is is looking decent. It's nearly getting built. I'll unpause and, and let things build while, we, while we're chatting. So that's getting nearly done. The distribution centre here, which is going to become the... Um, the I need a good name for the, for the meat people, the meat delivery. Um the meat van i don't know where, where i so where i live i don't know if it still happens but every friday or so some guy like turned up in like the center of center of the village in the town i live in like an ex-pit village and he just like turns up with a with a meat van and it's, it's like it's, i mean it's like an ice cream van except it sells meat um so i feel like i want to pay homage to that by calling this the fjordland Meat, meat, the Fjordland meat vans. So this is nearly done, and once this is done, we will get that little train to run around and start uh -uh, doing stuff. <coughs> we have so. Oh, that's a lot of people going around here. Where are you all going? I suppose you're building things. I I put in a little roundabout here as well. You'll see. <laughs> Because this just keeps the flow of traffic going quite quite nicely. What else have we built that we've that we've missed? I are I am noticing, because of all the trees and all the buildings, the frame rate here, as we're moving, is a little. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little bit more janky over here than compared to like, over here where there is nothing. We've just really heavily populated this valley. It's fine. The game isn't struggling or anything. It's just, yeah, you can see the frame rate drop slightly when we come over here. So what else is there? What else is there that we can do right now? Well, the bridge is getting built. That'll be done soon. Economically, we are doing okay right now. Um, so things are gonna get things are gonna get built in this episode. I kind of want to play it. I don't like. I mean. 
I do like playing it on fast forward, but I always feel like I'm going to miss something. Cool, so iron things got built there. You've been built as well. Jana Grad construction people. Let's get let's let's assign some just oh no, I don't want the highway to people. But yeah, we could um we could spend a bit of money, start getting some construction things down here just to, to help alleviate the stuff. We needed we built this down here because we wanted to flatten and, and raise earth down here, didn't we? So let's let's see if that is possible right now. No, we need bulldozers. So should we should we buy a few bulldozers here? Just just for a laugh. How much are bulldozers? Not expensive. Let's how many vehicles is this one? Is this the thirty two? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. So we'll buy like three? Is that too many? What have I done? Go away. What have I done up here with the with the other ones? I can't remember what my ratio to things are. Let's have a look at your Oh, we don't actually have any. We have two. Uh, maybe uh, maybe three was too many. Um, uh, three's fine. We'll buy some excavators as well. And then we can start to maybe plan out. Which one's faster? You're faster. We'll buy three of you as well. So, hopefully that's in line. Um, let's start thinking about this then. So, the idea was that this train comes along... Chug, 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 chug along here, and then we can raise this up. Maybe even a bit bigger than that. How? I, I, I mean, I have no idea what that's looking like. Oh, that's a slow process. Oh my god. They don't make this. I know that it's faster when you pay for it, but bloody hell. Come on. Jeez. So how are you all doing? Anyway, are we all doing well this week? Oh my god, we need to write. So do, do they actually now need to come and, and dig that up? Oh, 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 bum. Oh, I should have put it on pause, shouldn't I? Oh god. What am I doing? Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, well that was a mess. A real mess. Oh, I was thinking. I mean, it's not... It's quite high, but we're not going to get a railway across there, are we? Let's... I mean, it, it, no, we, we're not. Like, if we build a bridge... Right. Let's, let's pretend... Let's just stop. Thank you. Let's pretend the train's gone up. And then we build a trussle, trussle, whatever across. Okay. I mean, that's not straight in any way. But at least it works. So far, we don't need to go any higher, he says. Oh, cancel. We'll come back to you eventually. We'll come back to you. Can I, can I ask these guys to stop? Like, just, like, go, go back. No? Like, what? Oh, no. Oh, they're all, go oh, okay, they're actually all going off to work. They might actually be going to do something. Who knows? Who knows? Let's watch some people arrive. And go to go to their jobs. It would be cool to get some more stuff down here. Uh, oh my god! Look at them all. Look at them all. Pause. Let's zoom. Can I come and get a first-person view of you, please? So I can I can view these people. No, no, you won't. You won't let me be. Seen. But by the time the bus gets here. 
No, I'm not, I, I wanted to. I wanted to get close to them and see see them in person, but this just isn't going to happen, is it? They're, they're they're somewhere in the grass, in the long grass. Look at them all. There's loads of them going and work, work here. I say loads, but like not 500 people worth, is it? Fuel, fuel is. We have so much fuel, so much bloody fuel going on here. I kind of feel like wherever the fuel train is, you're the bitumen train. I feel like the fuel train needs to have more carriages on it, just to. Where is the fuel train? Where are you, fuelie? Oh, here you are, selling off our thing. Maybe that's what we'll do. Um, we let's. We'll send it back to the depot. We're going to buy it another oil carriage. How can this thing get back to this depot? Does it have to go down? Oh, fucking hell. It goes down and around to come back. That is stupid. We let's let's just let's just build it a little. Oh no 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 no! You should it should come along. It should be able to come along and, and go. No, no, it can't. No, that's that's me being thick. Okay. What if it comes down here? Can it... Can you... No, can you do anything? That seems... That seems fun. Let's do that. See, let's, let's, let's see what happens. So, when you finished selling your stuff, providing us with all your wares... We're gonna send you back and get a an extra little carriage for you. Just the one, just the one for now. Okay, let's get ready to send it to the depot and hope it goes. Right, go back to your depot, please. Cool. How is everything going on here? It's it's getting built, gradually getting built. Like, and it, and what's really cool about the. Uh, the recruitment agencies. Um, he's just seen things get built so much quicker because like, this, certainly the stuff down here was taking ages because workforces were just not getting to it. But by tapping into Jarnagrad and using their workforces to, to build stuff, we've just got stuff done so quickly. It's great. I'm looking forward to this getting finished. Let's, um, let's, let's assign that very quickly. We won't assign it to Jarnagrad, though. There's no point in bringing those people all the way up. Right train. Do no, no. Oh, fucking heck. I told it to go the wrong way. Just, just keep going. No, turn around. Just go to where you want, where I want you to go. Go back to your depot. Please, please turn off here. Please turn off. Please don't be stupid. You can go. You can go. Are you going to turn? Yes. Yes, everyone. Look at that. That's good. Cool. So we'll get you back in here. We are going to buy a cargo wagon. And we want another tanker. We'll add... Another one on? How many? Right. How many does the bitumen train have? Wherever that is. Because another thing as well, like, we're struggling to make bitumen because we're not producing enough fuel. So how many? Where are you? Oh, here you are. Okay, so you've got well, five. Five, wow. Seems excessive. Uh, should we buy you? Ah, fine, let's buy you another. It'd be good if I could change the train colour. Can I do that? No. Of course you can't, Chris. Why would you, why would you be able to do that? We'll get you five as well. Go. Come on. Off you go. Yeah, just, it was just a quick pa a quick journey. Go and get us more fuel. That's the Grain Train. Grain Train, I think I have a new mission for you. Now, it won't be long before we're harvesting these crops. But down here, 
we still got a ton of crops in here. It kind of worries me because... Wait, well, don't worry me. Worrying is the wrong, the wrong phrase. It kind of makes me think that we could... We could save on a few months. Well, no, on like one trip to here, to the to the borders, getting crops by by using those crops. I, the the crop linking up has not been successful. Like we're feeding the nation. We're not we're not starving or anything, and that's great. But I kind of feel like we've done a poor job. Where is the grain train? Oh, it's there. I feel like we've kind of, we've done a poor job of um of of supplying crops all the way through. I mean, it's not a problem. Import export is fine, but it is just a a pest. So yeah, I think I'll send this one down here, and then when it's done, we'll take a journey to to you. What's what's going on here? What's your problem, mate? Question marks, all the question marks. Start building. Not connected. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, I can see why that would be a problem. Let's just get rid of it then. Let's just let's just pay for that. That's fine by me. Right, grain train is is going into landing. We've not sat and watched a lot of these trains for a while. It has a lovely path through the woods and everything. This train. And do you wait until everything's exported? You don't, but we could do with the crops, so that's fine. So we'll need to keep an eye on that. We'll need to keep an eye on the grain train doing its job. Um, exporting stuff. Because at some point we're going to run out of crops and we'll need it to go back to the border again. Um, but it's a shame you, that train distribution centers offices don't exist yet, because that would be great. Where you could like just tell the train to go certain places depending on on what I don't know what I'm trying to say, depending on like the the capacity of them and stuff. Right, we'll send you down there. We're gonna you're gonna load all the crops, and then we're gonna. Delete that stop. Yep. And we need you to go to this one, please. Are you gonna do it, Grainy? We'll follow you, we'll follow you down. Oh god, look at the smoke we just inhaled. Oh, the school finished as well. We've got a school finished, I've meant to tell you that, and we've got a few of my UK council houses, uh, council flats there, just to house some teachers, because we were sorely lacking in in teachers, that's something that hopefully we'll be able to remedy when we get universities and stuff up and running. And this bridge, this bridge is nearly done. And once this bridge is done, we can reopen the highway and... God, how good will that be? I'm also a bit... As, I was, as I've been building stuff... A bit perturbed by, by Jarnagrad's entrance here. Again, it's poor planning on my part. But this small slip road here for all the traffic going in and out of Jarnagrad just seems stupid. Um, I don't know how to change it because everything's very close to each other here. I had thought about making the trains have bridges, but... It just didn't seem to work out. Looks like the university is finished, by the way, guys. Awesome. Let's re let's research some electrical circuits at Leningrad at uh, Jarnagrad Technical <laughs> University. I love that building so much. I actually made a building similar to it for City Skylines. I based it on it. The Gvorsk Polytechnic is very much based on that building. Um. Yeah, it's just a really nice model. I like it. Okay, so this is working. This is working, and a leaky junction is nearly done, and what are you going to do here, then? What are you going to do to it? Ah, this is the first test to see if this system that we set up is working, and it seems to be. Awesome. Awesome. I don't think we need to watch you doing this job. You're doing a good, good enough job. 
Um, how are you doing? And why are you taking forever? And you as well. Everything's taking everything's taking forever these days. Let's get everyone involved. So, oh, that was very broad, wasn't it? That was very Yorkshire. So, so what were you gonna do? As my, I, I've put in for some other little silly things like this billboard that is not getting gonna get built anytime soon. We need to plan more housing. I'll be honest. Jarnagrad needs more more residential. How are we doing? So we've we've cut this down. The adults living with their parents has really been cut down, which is great. We are going to have a boom when these kids get older, and we so we're going to need to sort something out. But we're doing okay. Escapes have gone down, but they're still. I don't like anyone escaping to Finland. If honest, it really bug, bugs me. But this is pretty cool. Oh, that's really cool. So we got the university going. We've got a little missing some ingredients. Oh, sugar. Oh, you're a bar without alcohol. Right, that's a problem. Who supplies you, comrades? The Chernikova Logistics Service. Right. I wonder if they'll happily take on an extra job. a problem. I didn't even think we... Ugh. See, this is the problem when you build, you have buildings that finish and you don't... Do not check on them. So, yeah. Go for it. We'll just need more lorries here. I don't like this. I don't like how grass grows through these. I do like that there's doors here and you can see crates inside. That's cool. I don't like that the grass grows through. <laughs> so, this is where this is the state of the play. State of play with where we're at. We're 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 doing okay. We're doing all right. Money wise, we're doing all wow. We're doing great, aren't we? Really. And this is this is low because we bought some some trains this time. I suppose once all this nonsense gets built. Oh, look at this little home that we made. Can I can I build it again? Can I? Pause and raise it up. I can, yes. Come on, come on. Let's let's build, build hills. And if I keep holding it on until it builds, do you think it'll just do it? I mean, I can't. I don't know. I just wanna. I just wanna make a. I, I just wanna make a, a nice thing. I don't even know if that's doing anything. I don't even know. I mean, it must be, right? But I don't want to let go and then zoom in. And I can. I can do it while still holding on. Right, what's this hill look like? Oh, it is slow. So slowly growing. Oh, God. There was a person... So, I, I was... There's a person on the Workers and Resources Facebook group, which is a nice group, and if you they're interested, you should join. Um, and they've dug a canal, a canal, I don't know how you want to say it, um, in their city. They've done it with this method, just using their own diggers and everything. And they said something, that I read the comment, that they said, oh, it took like four hours to do, and I'm like, oh my god, how what effort they've gone to. Oh no, it's just because this is the slowest thing in the world. I don't know what, like, is there no way to make this faster? Would it be faster if I had more excavators, do you think? If I let go now... Oh no, it's fine. Oh, it's slowly growing. Maybe I just needed to let go. No, this is painful. This is painful, you know. Can I like... That's terrain smoothing. What if I... Centre that. I just... Right, let's, let's have a look. Let's go down to this level. 
there is no way they are the same height. There is no way. And they're not even close to each other. What can I do? Let's see. What's a good railway bridge? I mean, these ones are faster, but this, I feel, looks the part. Can't build because of pillars. Brill, what about you? Can you be built because of nothing? No. Where can I even start you? There's a hill causing trouble. What, what do I even do? What on earth do I do here, then? This was a horrible idea. I don't know why I've done all of this. What about the, the trust bridge? You, I, think, I feel like you worked before when we wanted you to be built. I feel like that would work if I could get the angle right. There, there, hello. That, that's nice. Can we go next to it, please? No! Are you kidding me? You're telling me you can't go next to each other because of because of the highway underneath. I mean, I right. I will happily get rid of that. The highway is not fixed yet. We can we can bin highway plans for it, and 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 we can build the highway around this. I just want to get it in... What was it? This... Oh, no, no. Well, it, ideally, if we can, I'd like the, the bridge to go here. Look at that. Yes. Okay. Nice. And then... Let's, let's put the roads back through. If I can. Come on. Get in. Get in! No, what? Oh, well, stupid thing. Okay, so I can see our problem here. I can see it's not going to be easy. Can I, how close can I, how close? How close can we get it? Oh, that's going to suck, man. That sucks. That sucks. Why would you not line your pillars up? They're the exact same bloody length, aren't they? Why would you not line up? That's madness. Utter, utter madness. So we could fit you there. And then we couldn't. We can't. Maybe we can. No, we can. Oh, yes, come on. Right, this is going to be weird. But we build that going through there. It looks dodgy. But then, I mean, this isn't real. This None of this is real yet. The National Highway is not even planned. So it can just continue. And curve a little bit there. Curve a little bit. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on, you can do that. Go on. Oh, yeah. There we go, there we go. Look at that. It's not perfect. I know, I know it looks... Ugh, it looks horrible. So we'll get rid of it. We'll get rid of all this because that... You're right, you're right. I can hear you already in the comments saying, you know you should do parallel roads, Chris. I know what I should do. I know. You, you, I know. I know what we should be doing. We should be spending more time. We should be using the should be using the the wireframe, shouldn't we? I know I'm not a perfect player with this game. Okay, <laughs> that sounded really passive aggressive. I'm so sorry. Uh, this this corner here looked weird, so I'm gonna try and, and reframe that like that. That's all right. We'll uh, we'll commit you to, to to funding trains. I don't know what we'll do. Because we don't have a, a... We don't have... Well, you go... Oh, come on. Connect to here and be good. 
yeah, we don't we don't have a, a train construction office yet. I'd like one one day, but it is not this day. Uh, I mean, this train thing is stupid. Like uh, it, it's a, a big hill for a train, isn't it? But it'll be good. One day we can get like the the whatever it's called. We can get like the the iron ore down here. What's well, taking forever? You're taking forever. Should we go check on on the slaughter slaughterhouse? I think we're done. Yes, we are done. Okay. So, stretch my arm a little bit. Oh, I've gone all floppy. Oh. Oh, I've got my, my arm's gone dead. Wow, that's an awful feeling. So, good news, everyone. Meat is back on the menu. In a minute. Not yet, though. But soon. Oh, and even better news. I <laughs> even better news. Now, if you're a lorry driver and you've arrived, and you're coming back through here, you can see a hammer and sickle. That's good, isn't it? That'll show... That's inspirational. That's what that is. It's inspirational. Okay. Let me... We need workers to come here to work at the slaughterhouse. Where, oh where, have we got the most unemployment? Back here, again. In Novichernikova. In which case then, my comrades? Little, little friends. Where is my vehicle garage? Here it is. Oh, we've got a little minibus as well. We could use. Oh, I'm not going to use the bloody minibus, though, am I? It needs. So we the the slaughterhouse, sir, is for 50 people. So, what buses do we have that are cool and awesome? Do we have any new big buses? We have you, but you're 82 workers. 52 workers on the old L LZ 695 Bs. They're not the quickest, and they're not got the most power, but they are very cheap. Or we go for one of these things, which are. I mean, I just don't want to pick up 82 workers and then them be sad. I wish we had new new buses. I wish it was past 1964. Let's um. We'll buy one of these. We'll buy an LZ. I know that they're old. I know that you're probably telling me that this is a stupid idea to buy old, old buses from the... Where's the LZ from? I can't see. From Ukraine. From the Soviet Union. I know you're telling me it's... Oh, Chris, you should be buying brand new buses. But, listen. It serves my purpose, okay? So... We literally want that bus to just start going here. Now, we then need to buy a little train. And this is where I'm going to buy myself a little Polish train. And I'm excited for this because these trains are really flipping cool. Look at them. Look at them. They don't go fast. I mean, some of them go fast. They have tiny little engines. Tiny, tiny engines. But... They're really cute and light. And I don't know what to go for. So we've got a Polish one and a Hungarian. Two Polish and a Hungarian one. What should we... Which one should we go for? I mean, the tiny cheap one can all... Oh, they can come in different colours. Oh, that's exciting. Look, it's a little blue one. Oh, God. I don't know what colour I'd want a train. This one's definitely the cheapest, it's the slowest, but we don't need a really fast train and I kind of want to buy a small, tiny train. What colour? Blue? I don't know what PKP means, I'm assuming it's like the, the, the railway service. If you know what PKP meant in Poland, please let me know, because I don't know. Yeah, because look, Heinkel. And then a different one. What do you... 
I'm going to buy a blue train. We're buying a blue train. We're going to buy some livestock carriages. How much livestock can I store? 250 tons. Good God, y'all. So, we're going to buy... How heavy is it? 17 tons. This is going to be really slow, isn't it? Let's keep it with two for now. We can always send the little train back. Can't we? So, little train. We want you to come here and buy us some livestock. We then want you to come here and just, just let them go. And we'll let you wait there until it's done. Okay, let's follow... We're going to follow the little train. We are going to follow it. We'll go in this mode and we'll follow the slow little train. I hope that it can find petrol one day. That's my concern. My concern is it's going to use that route and it isn't going to go for petrol. You know? Which will be a real annoyance for me because I built a little petrol line for it. But that is my, that's my, my, yeah, my concern is that it's going to sit here and be like, I can't, I, I've run out of fuel and we're going to have to build it a little petrol station. It's so tiny. Look how cute it is. I love that. So yeah, I'm guessing PKP is the, like, the, the Polish um, train company. But look at it. How gorgeous is that little model? Oh, it looks like it's got a little face. It's slow and small, and it's brill. Who needs fast trains, eh? It's only going up and down a tiny little line. So, the next step is to buy some meat vans. Which we can do over here. What were you? Oh, you were the fuel folks, of course you were. So, oh no, a building's on fire, comrade. Fjordland Construction, bravo. Oh, no. The fire is... is oh, God. Let's, let's, let's check it out. Fjordland, bravo. Which one's bravo? Alpha. Bravo. Oh, look at that. Where's the fire engines, eh? Where are you? Oh, here they come. Here they come. The... the the saviours. Ponty Pandy's finest. They'll sort it. I have I have absolute faith in them. So, let's see what we can buy. Can't buy anything from the West. Refrigerated vans. Oh my gosh. There's loads of you. What do we buy? Just buy all the meat vans. We have a lot of money. We do have a lot of money. And I've spent most of it on trains. What should we buy? Do we buy... Do we, do we mix it up? We buy several big ones, but slow. The price is... I mean... The, the engine difference is not that different, is it, for these... These bad boys from the Soviet Union. Three tons of meat, they get around really quick. I kind of feel like... They're cheap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll buy eight of them. And then... Four of these? We spent a lot of money. I know. Okay, so you are going to come and pick meat up. Okay, meat from here. And then I want you at... Uh, where are you going to go? So to here, to drop meat off, when it's below 90. You're going to go here to drop meat off. Where else have we got shops? Here. You're going to go here. And then we're going to send it down to Jarnagrad. Because I think we can. Where's my shop? Is it your Jarnagrad shop, aren't you? There's a shop. Here's a shop. 
And I think that's all the meat places. Which is cool. What's going on here? Fuel. Fuel's happening. How's our little train doing? Where is the little train? Where are you? Where's my little train? Why is... Oh, why... Where are you, little train? Oh, there you... Oh, you went and got fuel! Oh, you did do a good job! Good on you! Oh, you are so cute! Oh, it's so cute! It's such a cute little train! I love it! So much! Now I can say looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. I wonder why those orcs were all, like, cockney. Yeah, looks like meat, but yeah, you know, you, you know what I'm about. Lord of the Rings fans. How are we doing over here? You're taking flipping forever. Everything's taking forever. Oh, God, I haven't even put line spacing on. Good to, re good to re <laughs> remember that with 15 minutes to go in the episode, hey. But this is good. This is nearly done. Surely we can speed you along a little bit. How much does it cost to finish? Seven. Nah, I'm not spending 7,000. I'll spend it on... Oh, cool! So if some of you are using the bridge. Sweet. Well, how about I treat you all. And we auto do some of this. So that you can travel that little bit faster. I don't mind auto building that. That's cool. Let's, um... i tell you what, let's get this back going. How can you not... Can I not do one way over the bridge? That's hilarious, okay. But that's cool. So we've got the... We've got one end of the bridge open. I'm gonna... You know what, we're gonna auto do this as well. Because I... I like spending all the money that we have. We might we might as well do the other side now as well. Oh, this is going to be great when this is all done. I wonder what the grain train's been up to recently. And are we have we delivered alcohol yet down to Jana Grad's to the pub? Yeah, we have. Jesus. <laughs> There's only one. It seems excessive to have four staff on and four guests, but that's great. What is happening here? Things are slowly getting built. We'll build a railway here one day. We will build houses. That's something I really want to do, and we might do now. Just, I know it's not perfect, but just a little space here. Houses. I know it's not a micro district, but it would be good to get what they could get the food from here, get the drinks from here, they could even get to the culture here. So we and schools right here. So build little houses with a kindergarten. Just plan something out. I think is what I'd like to do. We'll get rid of auto purchase because flipping don't wanna. And I've got some more residential stuff that I'm really excited about. Where is residential? Where's the word? Here it is. Um, yeah. Rob on the Steam Workshop is just bloody fantastic. I really like these buildings that are from... I think... Katowice in Poland? They're awesome anyway. But I also don't think... I mean, no, they could fit. They could fit here. How many people do they, they sit? 368 workers. They do kind of fit around the university. And they're nice and narrow and tall. Which is good. Where are the buildings that I downloaded? These things are awesome, look. And they come in different skins as well. And what are the quality of these then? 75%. Uh, no, sorry. 9,500. They really are good. And then we've got these things as well. That are pretty big. Oh, we could we could spend a little bit of time here planning something out, I think. Is what I'm what I'm, what I'm getting at. We make a little let's make a little micro district. We could even 
No, we can't. It's too big. But one day we will put Balfron Tower down. We will put it down. Right, let's let's use... I don't know why I shut that. Let's just plan this out. I really like this building. But I also, yeah, I really like what Rob has made. So we've got a five story, five stories, uh, nine stories, and 11 stories. 11 stories is by far the biggest. We could make like a little... Right, let's, let's work this out. Let me plan it. Let's plan the amenities first, okay? They're gonna need a kindergarten. Well, you're massive, so we're not building you. We're gonna build my standard kindergarten. I love these kindergartens. Ah, oh, it's gonna need power. Sugar. Okay, we can build power out here, I guess. Where's my power junction? It's there. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Annoying. That is annoying. We could split another splitter. Oh, we could split it. We'll split it. Or is there a... Can it come from here? We could run a little wire here. We'll run a wire. We'll run a wire. It's fine. So, we'll build a kindergarten here. Like so. Okay, we will build then a little school. Because schools are great. A small school. No, 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 no. Not small. Small schools, are, I mean, they're great. But, God, look how big bloody schools are. I'm guessing the school's going to have to be like... Better up here or something. Maybe we build like the school... Here. And then the roads are going to have to, like, arch round or something, I think. Oh, no, the road will... The road could go... Right. Listen. The road could, like, weave... Weave round. Sort of. I don't know what I'm doing. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But then we can build you off here. Like you. And you can go there. And then we can build a little, a little block. No, that's not straight. That's not straight. Or at least it is straight. It's just not what I want. I want it to like run parallel to the railway. Like that is more more akin to what I want. It's not going to work, is it? Because it needs to be there. <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay, so we'll build that like so. We will then build a path. Then they're, they're going to need paths. That's something I'm really looking forward to. They've said in the new updates of the game that they're going to build tunnels and also overpasses. That's going to be awesome. Because just... like I know that it doesn't matter too much, this game, having overpasses and stuff. But it will just be so much so useful to have. Right, so they can come down here. Let's work this out. We could also then have another path that just goes along here. Like so. Connect up to the pub. Can you not? Okay, doesn't matter. That can then hopefully... If I connect you there as well. And then a road like that. Hopefully people can walk to the supermarket. I guess is what I'm trying to plan out there. Um, and then let's put some let's put some houses down in it. Let's do it. And we'll go we'll go with these cool rob houses. Five stories, sixty five workers each. There's they're small enough for this to be a little community. We could build small ones and then a big big one. So if the eleven I like the nine story one. Let's build this big nine story one like I guess we'll fit it here like so that's the big one and then we'll build some smaller smaller ones what's the difference yeah it's not really it's not really like a proper micro district this but It'll, it'll be good. I think it'll work.
I don't know. I don't know if it will. <laughs> what are you? Different five stories. Oh, okay, so we've got quite a few. I actually don't know what I'm, what I'm wanting this to do. I suppose I, it's not perfect. It's certainly not perfect, but it's just a little, a little, a new space, just a small little community. We'll fill it up with trees, and it will look wonderful. I promise. Then, I don't. Oh, some of these paths, man, are bonkers. I want to like, I want to make like a nice, a nice little walk. Ooh, let's make it nice and wavy. No. The re <laughs> Do you know what? It looks great, but actually, um, it's just going to add distance, isn't it, to people's journeys. <laughs> so, I guess we'll just have to settle for the old grid. Oh, we can make it go off like that. That's, that's quite pretty. We'll build a little path to there. We'll put a path to go back here. Oh, they're going to need sport as well. What can you what can you have as a sport place? Friends. Friends, what can you have? Sports playgrounds. A sports hall. A gym. I'm actually building a uh, a, a sports hall, by the way. Like a, a swimming arena. I'm building one in Blender. Um it's gonna be for a uh, friend of the channel is Dan Ball's City Skylines build. Uh, based on something in Kaliningrad, but I'm going to convert it for this game, and honestly, I really like it. We could put a little a gymnasium hall, I guess, just over here. Yeah, we'll do that for them. And you know what? They can also have a little table. Down here, we can have a little table tennis. Um, just, just there. One there. And another... Not there, because I want to put the path in first. Let's put the path in, like so. That can take us. Apparently it can't take us to there. Why would I think... Why would I think that that would be straightforward? Let's put you going like that. You going like that. You can, you can plan it yourselves, guys. Uh, we will put a little path up here. But, oh no, is that too sharp for you? Oh, did you not like that? Oh, is it too... Oh, flipping plans. There we go, put that there. Um, we'll build a path going up. I don't know what I'm doing. I do not know. I guess I want everything to be connected up. So, yeah, this works, does it? Can I, like, put you down here and, like, have people connect to it? That's a lot of paths. That is a lot of paths. And that's not going to get built for a while. But it's going to be cool when it is built. Should we give them a little monument as well? What should we give them? Ooh, we've got some new posters. We could put some posters down here for them. If they really wanted a... We could give them a clock. Or we can build a massive lemon poster. Where could it go? I, um, I want to... Right, okay. I want to check this nine-story house I've put up. Right, where are the... Is there a bit where there's no windows? Because our I, I don't want to block people's view. Here, this this side here, that is closest to us. We could put a little Lenin monument, a little Lenin thing there, couldn't we? I don't want to. I don't want to block her, their view up. I'm. It's all about natural light and stuff for them. So we will go with one of these poster types here. Actually, we'll put it here so that people can see it from the from the motorway. We'll give them another one as well. And it's good. These are really good. These are also on the Steam Workshop, and you can um, change change the skin on them to be a different poster. So that's cool. 
like this one here has been built. Look at it, it's really cool. Jana Brad poster, but look. Oh, Stalin! Oh, there he is again, look. That one, I really like. What else we got? Stalin again, Stalin. Bloody loving Stalin, aren't you, guys? I just, I tell you the reason we're not going to go with the Stalin posters, <laughs> for many reasons, the, the, it's just not historically accurate, it's 1964, we've gone, e even as a new nation we've gone through a period that de-Stalinization has happened guys, we're not going to have him on posters anymore are we, unless we're following more of a hardline uh, anti-revisionist bent I guess. But I always imagine Fjordland is in line with the Soviet Union around this time. I don't know what's going to happen if we ever get to 1990. We're going to have to follow our own path. Adopt methods of Juche or something, aren't we? <laughs> Go down. Or socialism with Fjordland characteristics. Maybe that's what we'll do. It's cool, it's cool. This is going to take us a little while. Let's go check on um, let's go check on the meat boys. The meat vans. Hey. Hey, something's happening. Something is happening. Holy cow, we've got so much meat. We've got a lot of meat, guys. We can't export the meat. There is too much meat. That's cool though. That does mean that little train is not going to Hopefully we're not going to use all these cows up. They'll get to live a little bit of life eating Fjordland grass. They're very static, aren't they? I worry that that's because they're living in terminal fear. Or they're just scared now. They've seen their friends go down this yellow conveyor belt and into this industrial-sized slaughter place. I'm not even a vegetarian. You'd think I would be when talking like this. Um... <laughs> it's just, yeah, just just sad. Uh, we probably should pave this up, shouldn't we? It makes it a little bit quicker. How are we doing money-wise? Oof. Oof. For the first time in forever, we're actually not doing well. Oh, though, it's, it's kind of cancelled out by the fact that we're also exporting oil at the same time. What, you, what is this one? Oh, this is the fuel train. God, we're exporting a lot more fuel these days. We're, we're okay. Budget-wise, we're doing okay. This is taking forever, though. What are we waiting on? Boards. Jeez. I'm not going to get John Grad involved. Once that's done, we'll start filling up this area here. Um, I love it. Look at this little bloody train. Let's just watch this train one more time. Let's just follow it for a minute. We follow it through the woods. Oh man, how long have we been ranting? It's definitely been over an hour. So, we will finish up. I feel like a lot has happened, albeit not really. But it, but it has. We've got meat back on the menu in the Fjordland shops. We have... Planned a little area for Fjordland. We've got little bits that are just improving all the time. And we've got a little train. A little tiny train. I love it. I love it. And all these cows are now going to go and fill up the little space. Look, there they are. Some more cows, look. Meat's a thing for the future. Um, I think that... Oh, wow, we have a load of cattle. And a load of meat. And no workers. I, I think this is a bus with more workers, to be fair. Um, Someone to look at for the next time. I think setting up some more farmlands in the future will look to use some space for, like, natural, natural cow growth. <laughs> Those mods where you can grow cows in fields. <laughs> we might look to them. But, apart from that, everything's coming together. This is done. This is pretty cool. Oh, okay. Need some vehicles. This tiny little distribution center. Um, 
yeah, let's, uh, let's, um, oh, I thought this road was done. I was going to mark this jewel. It's nearly done. Once this is done, we'll mark this as one way. This is another. We've got a little, little highway going on. That's pretty cool. We need to buy some vans here and get them to deliver mechanical components. And that'll be a little bit cheaper. Oh, that's going to be good, this. What do we need? What, what can we buy? What big covered holes do we need? We want the biggest ones. And the fastest ones. You're pretty fast. You're all pretty fast. We'll go for... I think we'll probably go for those green ones. Have we done this road yet? The road is done! The road is done. So we are going to finish on this. We are going to go... You are going to be one way. All the way home. Come on. What are you... Why is that... Okay. Oh, I don't understand. Why is it being stupid? Oh, we may need to... We may need to build a little... A thingy. A little crossroads for the distribution centre there. But that's fine. We can do that. Oh, God. We've caused a crash. I'm sorry, lads. I'm really sorry. Why have you come down here? Do you not see the situation? There you go. There we go. Look. There, there. You all can work it out. And we'll build a little crossroads there. Oh, it's all good. It's working. It is coming together slowly. But also with a bit of speed, a little bit of speed, we're getting, we're getting results, getting results. So next time, buy some vans. We'll sort out mechanical stuff. <laughs> we will hopefully have this finished. I mean, it's it's gonna, it's nearly done, sort of. And then, yeah, Jana grads away. Hello. Before we do finish, a leaky junction is like steps away. Ten thousand rubles. It's too much, too much for me to want to finish that on its own. But let's get the. I like the highway people getting involved. Jesus, come on! A leaky junction's nearly done. So this is great. This is really good. Right. If you have enjoyed any of this ramble, thank you. Thank you for watching very much looking forward to the next episode if you liked the content or any of it uh, please give the video a like consider subscribing if you want uh, it always genuinely means a lot um successful time we've got a crash here look oh no oh oh, oh dear <laughs> brill thank you for watching i will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.